Rio Riddle. We've got a special report coming up about floods, but now the weather. Hello, this is today's weather with Lorraine Hill. Over here we have Fleetwood, Garstang, Lancaster and Abbeystead, Blackpool and Preston. And this, I'll, I'm going to tell you about what the rivers are called. This is called the River Loon. This is called the River Wire. And this is called the River Ribble. Moving on to the weather. There's going to be rain here, here. more places. Flood warning 80% risk of flooding. Moving on. So what causes flooding? Flooding is when a big big load of rain can rise up quickly from rivers and it can go down and down it can flood it can get up there water level rain and it starts to go up up then it floods this is a real picture of the flooding. Back to Rio in the studio, the weather by Lorraine Hale. Thank you Lorraine. Now our report about floods with rainy splash. Hello this is rainy splash at Abbeystead with St Thomas's news. I'm next to the source of the river wire. When it rains, the water goes down the mountain and ends up in this part of the river. Rainy splash from St. Thomas's News. Cheerio! Hello, this is Rainy Splash at the pumping station in Abbeystead. I'm, now I'm going to tell you what happened to the pumping station in 1984. The pumping station is underground where I am and inside this building are machines. station can only get in but some people went to look around the pumping station there was like this explosion in the pumping station and lots of people died some people survived some people were injured and some pe 16 people died and it's sad because this is um, what telling us about what happened rainy splash this is with St Thomas's news back to the studio Now over to Walter F
follows. This is Dorothy Bell, who's going to join us today. So, Dot, um, do you remember the floods? I do remember there were floods. I wasn't involved in the flood myself. My own home didn't get flooded, but her friends did. Okay. What was it like? Uh, I think it was very frightening for people at the time because they didn't know how far the water was going to go up. Yeah. And it was uh, a bit scary losing all your property in the water. And as it's a farming area, it was very scary for the farmers too, for their animals getting stranded. Did you know how many um, people died? I'm not aware of any people having died in the flood. How many houses was destroyed? I don't think the houses were actually destroyed. There, were, there was a lot of mess from the flooding because it's not just water, but it's dirty water that's come from the river with lots of silt and sand yeah. and mud and it gets very smelly. How many days did it take to tidy up the houses? Oh, I don't think you could measure it in days. About three, about three days? Uh, no, more like six months. Really? Yeah. Because it took a long, long time for the water to dry out. Okay. And then the houses had to be cleaned and get rid of all the dirt. And How did they get rid of the water? Um, the fire brigade pumped a lot of it out of some of the houses. Some of it just went down naturally when the river got rid of it. Can you tell me about this bridge, please? Um, the bridge disappeared in the in the floods. We it was uh, completely out of sight. So when when it flooded, like the all the water like broke. Like it came down. No, the water came up, and so the water was above the bridge. Where's the old bridge? Well, the old the old bridge was destroyed and swept away. Thank you very much, Dorothy. You're welcome. For them facts, this is Water Flows, Saint Thomas's News. I'm in Church Town. Cheerio! These water flows at the, the floodgate. When it rained a lot, the water can get up here. If there's, the town's going to flood, they lift the flood barrier up. So, if a case of an emergency, they lift the flood barrier up to get um, the water away. One day, if the flood barrier lifts up, the whole rugby pitch will flood. So, we need them floodgates so our town won't flood. This is Walter Fellows. Cheerio! This is Walter Flows and this is Bill Bell from <laughs> I Met Catrell. So, Bill, where did you live when the flood happened? We actually lived at Catrell, but because uh, my wife's mother lived in St Michael's, I was very concerned when I heard about the floods. So I went to see what I could do to uh, help out in the situation. Um, we managed to uh, actually uh, secure a boat of a friend of mine and row up the main road in St Michael's uh, from what is now the Vinnie Roundabout to uh, Stocking Bridge Farm at the far end of the village. Mm -hmm. And uh, there we managed to wade up to the farmyard and then through the back of the farm and rescue sheep from flood water uh, 
for the for the local farmer who uh, while we were out rescuing the sheep uh, he had arranged for farmers from Great Eccleston and Inskip and others to uh, bring their cattle wagons and things to take the sheep away out of danger of the flood water. Mm. Did you know anybody who lived in St Michael's when the flood happened? Well St Michael's being a fairly small village uh, I knew most of the people. The worst affected was uh, a house called Shan Lodge which was affectionately known as Auntie Nell's and uh, and Vida's next door uh, because the flood water came all the way down Rivermead driveway from the riverbank uh, and uh, flooded their houses which were on a lower plane across the road. Mm -hmm. This is Walter Flows at Fulgarth and St Thomas's. Cheerio!